Hello and happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to Fridays with Brandon. This is episode number 107 of Fluke Fridays. And what we're going to talk about today is a feature that I talked about in the i910 a few weeks ago called MetQ, which can help you identify bearing conditions or bearings that are different than others and would indicate that they might have more wear and you might want to address that bearing. So um, I kind of described this before, but I didn't get to show it to you. I have a new little baby demo. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. We're going to watch and see where it places color on the screen exactly on the bearings that are different than the others and can kind of indicate potential bearing wear. So I'm going to switch over to this and we're going to do some, um, I'll try to do some commentary and then we'll jump back to it. Okay, so what we have here is we've got this little motor spinning on a 9-volt battery, and we've got three different bearings in here. And I'm just showing you different angles of these. They, they do, this thing was making a decent amount of noise, but I filtered out the noise so you guys could just watch this. But you can see the leftmost bearing really has a lot of color on it. The center one, depending on if I can get the leftmost bearing out of it, also has some flickering. Um, you'll notice that it's more of an intermittent thing. It's not steady. And you're going to find that with more of these MECQ solutions when you're looking at conveyors and stuff, that it won't be uh, this solid color like we have on that left bearing, unless the bearing is pretty bad. It'll be more of that intermittent um, bearing color. So if you're used to using like an I-900 or an I-910 to find air leak detections where it's a very solid, steady flow of air, uh, the typically the bearings are going to be slightly different, whether they have something passing over them, a different load, you might see more intense. But you can see in this example that the leftmost bearing is definitely showing the most um, sound coming out of it. The center one has the next indication, and then the last one, not so much. So I hope that demonstration was helpful for you guys, that you got to see what does MetQ look like actually on roller bearings. Remember, this is really designed at this point for roller bearings. That would be like conveyor systems. So if you're like a UPS, FedEx, or any kind of distribution center, um, could have great implications for you guys be just because you can identify where bearings are potentially going bad, or could be like rock quarries and stuff too, but where bearings are potentially going bad on conveyor systems in a way that it's just not practical to go and do vibration on all those bearings and or you just can't reach them and you need to be at a distance. So hopefully this was helpful. You kind of got to see what a bearing that was definitely indicating some trouble, uh, one that was more intermediate and then one that was pretty good and you can kind of see the, the differences. So I hope this was helpful and it, it can be a great tool if you're already looking at getting an air leak detector like an I-900, I-910. Um, it's just another feature that Fluke has continued to innovate and bring new features to our customers to help you guys stay up and running. So hope you guys had a great week. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget, if you've watched more than three of the videos, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one. Take care.